Plus, parents, we know the challenges. Yeah, it yeah. is so hard to get children to put down their devices and to pick up a book instead. Yeah. It's, it's a tough battle. It is tough. How many times do we have to say that for a day? <laughs> I know. Put it down. You, you've extended your <laughs> limit. Well, a principal in Decatur Township has found a way to successfully make that happen. Yeah, so parents, listen up. Here's the backstory. Her 500 preschoolers and even kindergartners read 5,000 books wow. in 50 days. And now, our own Carlos Diaz speaks with a woman who everyone is now looking up to, and maybe you as well. Watch this. When you send your kids off to elementary school, you want a principal who's on top of things. Well, the principal here at Liberty Early Elementary, she's taking that to a whole new level. Why are you on this roof? Well, we know how important early reading is and how important it is for kids to hear quality literature. So I made a challenge to my students that if they would read 5,000 books in 50 days, I would spend a day on the roof. And they more than exceeded the challenge. They read over 7,000 books. So as promised, I'm up here for the whole day. Have a great day. Principal Susan Bryant's Decatur Township Pre-K and kindergarten students embraced her reading challenge right off the bat. From the first day of the challenge, some kids were telling me as they went out to the bus, I'm going to put you on the roof. The parents kept a log of all the books they read with their kids, with a few students exceeding everyone's expectations. I had a preschooler who turned in sheets showing that she had read 225 books, and I had a kindergartner that read 275 books. It's pretty amazing. In 50 days. In 50 days. How did you get up? Throughout the day Friday, each one of the classes came out to read, sing, or do the Pledge of Allegiance for Principal Bryant. And she does have all of the necessary school supplies for her eight-hour roof staycation. I've got my laptop, so I can hopefully, in between classes, get some work done. I have prizes for the kids, and I have a, a tent over here. If it should start to rain, I'm ready to get in and uh, stay dry. Are you happy that Chuck Lofton has uh, given us just a great forecast. I'm thrilled with the forecast. I was so worried it was going to rain today and I was going to be in the tent instead of outside the tent, but this is perfect. <laughs> thank you, Chuck. And thank you. We now have a new incentive to help our own kids <laughs> get off of that technology. Well, also, Principal Brian told us she's already trying to figure out what kind of stunt she can pull off next year for the reading challenge. We'll keep you updated. What a great story. I Thanks know. so much, Carlos. It's a